Hey guys, how are you doing? I uh, did a trip to Marseille, France, to visit the very, very famous island and uh, prison Chateau d'If. It's the inspiration of the author Alexander Dumas to write that novel, The Count of Monte Cristo. So I was always fascinated by the fact that a person could escape from that prison. And I went to Google, I measured the distance, I measured, uh, you know, how far it was from the coast. And I was always wondering if a person, if a human being could really be that smart and that fit and that in shape to escape that prison. So I made myself to, to the way and wanted to find out. And uh, stay tuned to show you some pictures from the city, from the surroundings and from the island itself. You soon.
guys, today I'm gonna try to go to Chateau d'If, the place where Count of Monte Cristo tried to escape, successfully escaped. I'm gonna try to analyze if it's possible or not. If this escape is even physically possible, if a human being is even able to do this. See you soon. Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear me, I don't have the mic with me, but what you, what you can see behind me is Chateau d'If. Chateau d'If. This is the island with the prison where Count Monte Cristo was sentenced to to stay until he dies. You all know the book um, The Count of Monte Cristo. You all know it probably. I don't know if you can hear me guys but I hope you can hear me. So uh, behind me is over there like a castle it was a castle before but right now uh, it was a castle before then later became a prison and right now is only a tourist attraction unfortunately we couldn't take the ferry to go there because of the windy weather and the stormy yeah the, the waves that you can see you can see the waves and uh, apparently the not the ocean, but the sea is very um, wavy and very not so calm. So we, we couldn't take the ferry. My idea was to, to go there and to see if Count, if the Count of Monte Cristo Edmond was actually really able, if someone could really escape that prison, if, if someone could be actually fit enough, in a good enough shape, to escape from that prison, to go from here, from over there, to arrive, I don't know, somewhere there, because probably if you escape from that prison, you should, you should target some place over there, because the, the current is always in this direction, you see, the current will, will force you to go in this direction, you can, you can see over there, so you both, he, he most probably landed over there, some uh, uh, on, on some beach, you know, on some of those beaches. I don't know because uh, if someone is trying to escape, you see where the current is going in this direction. So if you, if you jump off the cliff from over there, and you're in, even if you're in the best shape, even if you're in a very good shape, you will probably probably try to go over there because otherwise if you're aiming to go in this direction you will lose all your energy and you will drown you know that's that's that would be sad um, officially nobody was able to escape this prison so far nobody was in such a good shape to swim in these cold waters even though it looks very close, you see, it looks very close. It looks like uh, if you're in a very good shape, if you're in a very, if you're a very good swimmer, you could actually manage to to swim to to the island, you know. But as a matter of fact, it turns it turns out no matter how good of a swimmer you are, you will have massive problems to get there. Um, so that's what I wanted to say. Unfortunately, I wanted to uh, first. I wanted to show you um, first. I wanted to show you the the cell of uh, Count of Monte Cristo, the cell of Edmond, uh, which is over there. But like I said, the ferries aren't going. In the next few days, the, they're they're not. There's the the whole next week. There's gonna be no ferry to the island. So. There, there are two options from here. Because of the weather conditions. Yeah, because of, I already said that. Because of the weather conditions, like I already said. So there are two options. Option number one, I find, uh, would find another ferry that can bring us there. Or option number two, I swim in this direction. So maybe I can try that. Um, look at the ocean. 
ocean, look at the waters. I don't think I can make it, guys. I'm not sure I can, if I could make it. I think it's very aggressive. The, the, the waves are aggressive, so if it's, if it's impossible for a boat to get there, for a boat, what remains for a human being? It would be really impossible. Even though it's very close, very close. It looks like if you're a very good swimmer, like I said, it's makeable. The place from which Alexander Dumas thought of Edmond potentially being able to escape from the prison. This is a very interesting topic. How fit should someone be to escape an island prison like this one or Alcatraz? How fit should you be? So for those of you who haven't read the novel, I'm going to tell you a very short version of the story. Um, there's this guy, uh, Edmond Dantes, uh, who is a successful sailor and a merchant. Uh, he spent a lot of time um, sailing and um, he has a lot of experience uh, in the ships. Um, he's only 19 years old. Uh, but he's going to be promoted to be a captain of a ship. Um, he has a nice girlfriend from Spain uh, who he's about to marry. A pretty successful guy and um, of course, therefore, he has a lot of enemies, a couple of enemies who organize and these three guys made sure he gets into a mess and they made his life miserable basically they gave him a fake letter that he was supposed to give to a guy in Marseille and um, then they wrote a letter to the prosecutor saying that Dante is um, some kind of a political activist uh, who wants to bring Napoleon back to France and um, the prosecutor uh, confiscated the letter and uh, put him into prison. He spent uh, 14 years in that prison and um, in this prison over here. And um, finally, after 14 years, he managed to escape. Basically, he pretended to be a dead body and got thrown out. Um, of the castle and um, by the guards and um, he cut the sack with a knife and managed to swim to a safe place and managed to escape successfully for uh, from the prison and the question is how did he manage to do it how was it possible because uh, no one managed to escape from that prison before. And that is a big question. Um, that is a very interesting story. How can a person be able to escape that prison? How is it possible? Here you basically have two islands, Pomege and uh, Ratunu, who, were, who would be the best choice for a person to escape, right? Um, in the first glance, yes, but um, if you think about it, um, it's not that a good idea uh, because they were both inhabited. That's a big problem. And uh, once you escape, uh, there the guards are very soon gonna be able to to uh, to find out that you're not there, that uh, someone escaped from the prison. And it's not a good idea to escape to those two islands, even though they're very close. As you can see, the one is um, around 500 meters to, to swim. And the other is one, one, a little more than one kilometer swimming. So on this picture here, you can see what would be probably the best solution for a swimmer to escape from the prison if uh, if the island if the islands were not inhabited being inhabited makes it a big big problem 
So you can see uh, the current direction, the direction of the current, and um, despite the current, regardless of the current, you would still be able to reach one of those islands, Ratono or Pumege, despite the current, guys. <clears throat> regardless of the current, you would still be able to get there. In my opinion, you would still be able to get to one of those two islands, to the Frio Islands. Um, I think it's makeable, uh, even though the current, if you go to the Pomega Island, the current is not completely against you. It's pretty much, you're pretty much following the current actually. But that's not the point. It's not only important to be fit physically, you have to be fit mentally and be smart. And to be able to judge the situation the right way so you know that that is not a good idea you're the police is going to be notified about your presence for sure with this small population there Dantes uh, knew that with uh, such a small population of those two islands you're gonna be he, he would gonna be revealed he, he would gonna be uh, you know um, exposed immediately to the authorities and he would be captured within hours so those two uh, um, those two islands were not a good option uh, like I said a big city would be a better option uh, it would be more anonymous but he uh, he decided not to go to to the city and not to go to um, to these islands not to go to any inhabited place so basically he decided to go somewhere else and uh, this somewhere else is very very far away and the island is called Tiboulon Tiboulon um, and Dantes decided to go there even though um, there is a direct distance of 7.5 kilometers but if you try to swim it you're not gonna swim it in a straight line for sure that is for sure so you're gonna end up you would gonna end up swimming at least for 10 kilometers even maybe 10 or 11 kilometers uh, because you're not nobody is going to be able to swim in a straight line in a straight direction directly to the island okay so uh, unless unless you are you know guided by a by a boat that is uh going straight in this direction but normally realistically speaking it's it's at least a 10 kilometers swim um, you're gonna have uh, at least 10 kilometers of s pure swimming and this would be really really exhausting you know and one more last thing i was able to find for you guys was that this escape apparently happened according to the book of course it happened on the 28th of February 1829 all right so in February the water temperature would have been not not under 12.5 degrees Celsius which is really really cold guys this is a really really cold water so imagine swimming 10 at least 10 kilometers in this cold water 12.5 might seem like um like not so bad um considering air temperature but water temperature is something else 12.5 is um very very cold water guys so you can imagine uh the recommended uh temperature in a swimming pool is uh, at least 22 degrees 22 to 25 degrees celsius so the olympic swimming pool water temperature is 25 degrees so if you compare 25 degrees to 12.5 degrees it's freezingly cold and it's not a big deal to swim there for 10 or 20 minutes i think it's doable i don't know if you've heard of sarah thomas who is a 37 years old uh, cancer survivor and um, she was able to swim uh, the English Channel four times in a row she spent 54 hours in the water 
and uh, the the journey was supposed to be 135 kilometers, but ended ended up uh, being 210 kilometers. So she swam for 210 kilometers, guys. It's incredible. She was only uh, having layers of goose fat to protect her from the cold of the water. That's all. That's all she was having on her body. So basically, um, she was uh, having only uh, a swimsuit, a swimming cap, a pair of goggles, and a layer of goose fat. Uh, as a protection from the cold in place of the prohibited wetsuit in order to comply with the very strict rules of the Channel Swimming and Piloting Federation. So uh, she was not allowed to wear a wetsuit. That's very important. So um, just uh, in, in, in instead of wearing a wetsuit, uh, she, was, uh, she only covered her body with goose fat. That's all. That's pretty much everything and there shouldn't be any obstacles blocking your view uh, your view your target should be clearly visible so you know where you're going not to get lost because if you get lost um, you would uh, spend all your energy swimming in the wrong direction the most important thing is to see to know where you're going and in his direction he was having a light uh, showing him where to go so this helped him a lot in his case so I think it's uh, really makeable uh, considering what guys are doing you know swimming the English Channel um, you know but if uh, if someone is able to swim the uh, the English Channel four times back and forth for 24 hours in a freezingly cold water uh, why shouldn't shouldn't someone be able to swim 10 kilometers from to escape from a prison so I think it's it's makeable it's not it's not so impossible let me know what you think guys and see you soon